Okay. All right. So it looks okay. It's hard to tell. But uh, let's start what we were doing. The power knocked us out. Uh, the last stream. And then I had a bunch of problems with the internet. So, oh, good. It, this is right where the this is where we started for the power, like knocking us out. So it didn't save that. Just good. Controls seem to be working fine. Okay, we've already gotten that. Okay, I do have Mantis Claw. What do I have? Ever? Like, I need to see what I have. I have King Soul, and... Okay, so this is, like, a, the infinite health setup. Like, high blood King Soul. And I have all my spells. Except I don't have Shade Soul. Um, I have five Palers, really. Okay. Okay, and I have Shade Cloak. All right, so it's time to go clear out Crystal Peak, I think. Alright, there's just a grub up here. I don't think I need grubs. There, that'll take care of them. Easy peasy. Just a easy every time. Alright, just a mask shard. I probably knew that, but, like, because I did do this part. I actually got up to Crystal Guardian. Let's see if we can do this. Almost. I got a first try in the power outage run. Darn it. So we must not have Mothwing Cloak. We don't. There we go. So Sprintmaster's fine. We've got a lot of charms. 23. That's pretty crazy. Okay, we do have a Dream Nail. 
All right, so the way that this guy works is if you don't hit him with your actual nail, um, he never, like, he, he'll never wake up. So, uh, we can just use spells on him over and over. And get Dream Nail him. Get Unlimited Soul. He's got to be close. There we go. So we never have to we never have to fight him. We just get his bench for free. Now I cleared out Abyss here. I'm sure of that. You know what I should do? I should Abyss Shriek that guy. He comes back down. He will come back down, he has to. There. That stops him from being annoying. Alright, so there's Shade Cell. So that's all of our spells now. We can beat up anything we want. We need to go to conga line here. There we go. That'll give us some breathing room. Perfect. Ugh. Stagna stag. Pretty sure we've already been there. You're a jerk, sir. There. See how you like it. Really? I was gonna say, why can't I do that? Okay. So that's conga line. There we go, we can open this. And if we go down here, I believe we, uh... Oh, I should, I should heal. Well, I can. So if we go down this way, we're gonna end up running into the crystal heart check, which we can do for free. Free that grub. There we go. All right, that's that. You just head back now. Seven masks, I'll take it. All right, we've got at least uh, we've got one chest um, in Crystal in Crystal Peak. We haven't cleared out the crown. We could. I mean, we're probably in the best shape we're gonna be for clearing out the crown. I should have jumped over this guy. Okay. I don't care about the grub, I don't think. If I have to come back here for grubs, I mean, I'll be disappointed, but it would be the end of the world. All right, this is this is where we have to do the crackers. go down here and open a shortcut. That's right. Alright, I hate this one. Because of that. But 
<laughs> we, just, we just got flattened. It wasn't even close. Ah. Let's refill our stuff so we can regenerate solos. We're doing this. There we go. That did. But it was nothing we needed. But at least we got the shortcut. Well, shortcut. I mean, we've cleared out Crystal Peak now. Because this should take us back down to the bottom. And it does. So, Crystallized Mound is a thing. Um, I really hate it, but it is. And we should maybe be aware of that. Think about trying it out. Because I do have infinite everything, so... At this point. I have a real beginner setup going here. Alright, so let's go back up there. I think we can go this way. I think it's a little more straightforward. It just, you know, there's crystal hunters, so... But we get up here, which is, this is where we needed to be anyway. Alright. Okay, good. That's one. Because these guys will mess up your life. They really will. There we go. Perfect. I, well, I mean, I, I can hit it. it don't, I don't need it, but I can, I can do that. Alright, crystallized mound it is. Ugh. Nice. I like that a lot. Okay. I don't care about this little roly-poly guy. I killed the Crystal Hunter. That's all I care about. Yikes! That's not the way I want to go. Which way do I want to go? Up. Continue. Continually up, up, up. There we go. Alright. Monarch Wings. Oh, man. Alright, that's our last movement item, then. So... We're looking for Void Heart. Alright, do we have... Okay, we do have... We do have map... We do have a rando map mod on. And Okay, so we're looking for one more Dreamer. At least. Ugh, I obviously have Hive Blood. I could go check Hive. But, I mean, look at all this. Do we have Tram Pass? We do have Tram Pass. Okay, well, we could go do some Deep Nest stuff. I mean, I have Lantern. So, yeah. Those are things I can do. Uh, yeah, we have everything. Yeah, we have everything. Do I have Shaman Stone? I don't. I don't have Shaman Stone, so we're still looking for that. Because Shaman Stone's super helpful. I should have known that I would have had it equipped. Okay, so do I have the lower tram bench already? I have hidden station. I do have lower tram. Cool. I don't know what checks I've done and which ones I haven't, but we'll check lower tram here. I could go to hive. I mean, that's a thing. Okay, I haven't checked base in Palor, and with this level of... Uh, with this level of spells and abilities and stuff, uh, it's only a matter of time before. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, I haven't checked the. I haven't checked the well. I haven't. I haven't. 
Ugh, I haven't fought Fluke Marm, but I'd, I'd get nail upgrades for that anyway. Have I gotten Stagnest? Because if I... Okay, there's a Stagnest check up there, but it looks like... We haven't fought Hornet yet. <laughs> All these things. We should just start clearing out checks. Okay, I think I can... Oh, I need to... That didn't work out well. There we go. That's how you take care of those. I mean, the game's the game's free with this level of spells, right? I mean, everything except the, you know the the actual bosses. All right, we could get to. Oh, we can do anything. Let's go to the hidden station and just check that. I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing a thing that. I mean, we're not timing this or anything. It's not like. Okay, there isn't a check here anymore, which is good. But I want to go to Stagnost and see what's there. Let's see if I can buy it to get rid of it. Go down. We'll take care of Jonies and we'll. So there's a King's Idol for 300, and we can buy that. That's that's nothing. Oh, there's still a check here. We've never been here. Awoken Dream Nail. Okay, well that's our last Dream Nail, which is awesome. We could do. We could do White Palace now if we wanted to. Why we would want to is beyond me, but I guess if we had to. I don't remember what's at White Palace, but I did check it. Uh, I hate Jonies. Uh, everybody should know that before I go in there. It's an obnoxious little... Uh, I'm going to Dream Nail Joni because I hate her room. Some people in the randomizer community don't like that I Dream Nail Jonies. They think Dream Nail Joni. They think it's cruel. It's not. She's awful. Oh no, more ben bench flies. Whoa, that jump was crazy. That guy's nuts. All right. Give me something good, Joni, and I won't dream nail you. All right. Now you're dead. Again. Okay, we have 220 essence, which means we've checked the resting grounds, whatever. We have. Spirit Glade is completely cleared out. I don't remember what's at Essence. We could go check that. Uh, we haven't beaten up Moloch? Are you kidding? Why would we have not beaten up Moloch? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's go check out... Let's go kill Hornet. And see what's been sitting there the whole time. Then we can also check out Shape of Un. If we want. I'll take that just to get it off the map. This is like a horrible habit of mine, like when I play randomizer, is picking up checks uh, when when money is no longer an issue, picking up checks just because I can. Oh, if I've been to Stagnest, though. So if I've been to Stagnest, I can... Uh, I probably don't have to worry about any kind of pogo skips anymore. So I could pro... Oh, I definitely don't have to worry about any pogo skips. I have all movement. <laughs> Hit. How is she still alive? There we go. That's that. Let's 
child's play with this with this loadout. And there's our last dreamer. So we could check Black Egg now, right? That's a thing. I think that's a thing. If we haven't already checked it, I think we might have already checked it. I need to, I need to look at this. We did check it. We've gotten the dupe dreamer. So we've that was actually our fourth dreamer. Oh, I don't have Ismas? Are you kidding? That's nuts. Well, I can't. Oh, I, I might as well get the bench so I can check it later. I can't check this. I don't. I can't do the. I can't do the shape of one skip. Well, that explains why we hadn't done that. What is that? Is that Acid Bridge? We haven't done Acid Bridge? Are you kidding me? Fine. <laughs> Craziness. I mean, we also haven't done Shio, and we can do that. Check Shio. Clear out Green Path, then we never have to come back. Except to check Shape of On. Which, this is easy logic, so it's not logic. That doesn't mean it isn't something we need, it just means we can't get it yet. The game doesn't expect us to get it yet. But Acid Bridge is definitely in logic. Hi, Terry Deman. I had a week's worth of internet outage, so this is my first stream back. Finishing a Hollow Knight randomizer seed from a week ago. I suppose let's go see how we do on the she the Shio uh, gauntlet here. Not my not my most favorite part of the game, but it is a part of the game. All right, so far so good. Ooh. Okay, good. We got we got a great hazard respawn though. Let's try this this way. Oh, hey. hey. There we go. That'll do it. Now, I think what I have to do here is this, and then that, right? Oh, I couldn't do it. We gotta get used to this. Yeah, that worked. Now we can just, uh, yeah. Crystal dash our way. Crystal dash our way to victory. Dream Shield. Still no Shaman Stone. Alright, so I think it's time at this point to... Well, let's go check shops and see if I've bought them all out yet. Or if there's still things we might need. Because we have all this money. Not the most chill. Okay, I don't need any of that. That's all just money. Oh. <sighs> um, I'll take this, though. I do, I do like me some King's Idols. Salubra. Do I have cr I don't curl bench. That's a shame. It's a good bench for nail upgrades. Uh, Wayward Compass. We actually have it because of Rando Map Mod, but I'm going to buy it just for fair play. So it's not like we stole it from the programming, which we clearly did, but can't imagine I've got these others cleared out and I haven't bought out Leg Eater. 
Um, yeah, we already we have a bitch streak. Um, we'll buy it for the money. Oh, we don't get the money. <laughs> Oops. All right, so what do we have for? It looks like Toll Bench is our best bench, or King Station. We're gonna go with Toll Bench. And now we have to start like really thinking about some bosses, like Watcher Knights and stuff like that. Umu. Am I missing anything from here? Toll Bench is there. I mean, I'm, I haven't done any of Soul Sanctum. All right, let's just go do it. Let's just go bite the bullet and get get ourselves Nail Three. Maybe it's nail two. I don't remember. We have nail zero now. One upgrade is nail one. Two upgrades is nail two. Three upgrades. This is nail three, yeah. So that costs three thousand and fifty dollars. I have way more than that. Yep. I think there was a rancid egg at the fountain, so I probably don't have to worry about buying that. I wonder if I have any simple keys. Like, I've checked Pleasure House, so I found at least two. I also haven't really looked to see if I have Unbreakable Strength. Alright, well this will make Fluke Marm possible. Again, I would love, I would love to have Shaman Stone. If I had Shaman Stone, just so broken. So, I'm one pale or away from Ultimate Nail, killing the Nail Smith. Or not killing the Nail Smith. Whichever I decide. Okay, so uh, let's just check really quick and see what we've got in this area. So obviously Watcher Knights is a thing. The arena above um, King Station is a thing. Oh man, we have a lot of checks in Kingdom's Edge. I suppose we could go do some of that stuff. We have a ton in Waterways still. And um, we haven't touched Deep Nest. No, well, now we could probably beat up Grim too. Um, okay. So I think King Station it is. I think we gotta do a couple checks at King Station. Alright, well we haven't dropped any frames, so it looks like actually stuff is fine. Which is good. So let's go check this one check that we've orphaned. Because orphaning checks is bad. Oh man, he got me with his backswing. And we'll see how well I can drop. Not, not well. I can make it all the way down here without... Yeah, I can make it all the way down without... Um... Without hitting anything. Like, that's a good drop. This is not. Alright, so... Not what I was going for. That'll do it. Okay, lifeblood heart it is. And we got another charm notch. Let's warp back. We should be able to take on some primal aspids now. 
kingdoms edge is really chuck dense so like i said i would love i would love shaman stone we have everything i think we have everything we need except void heart and i think there's a void heart in essence um which at this point is a problem because i just did nail upgrades without even thinking about that So I don't have Isthmus, which means, um, ugh, I'm, with, with this loadout, the skip to upper is possible. It's just not easy. I mean, it's really hard. So what we would have to do is, and C dash, like, let's just try it once or twice. It's like C dash, regular dash. Or maybe this will work. No. Yeah. Hello, LZ1. Oh, LZ, that's right, I can call you that. We're back. We had a problem, and now we're back. That's not going to work for me. I don't know why that that's such a problem. Okay, this this skip is not going to work for us. We're going to go do this the boring way. I mean, we do get to see that cool, like, super long fall. Uh, yeah, what happened was... Um, so, I was trying to finish the seed... And my my power went out. And then later that day, like the phone rang. Because I, I have a landline. And the, the phone rang and there was nothing on the other end. And my internet was like at a fourth the speed that it normally is. So I couldn't do anything. And the guy came and fixed it yesterday. But the good news is, is I used my downtime to uh, get some things working, like the Link to the Past randomizer, uh, I can now I can now play. And uh, I got um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, the 15 card mod working as well. So we can play with that too. So th that's, that's good news. I'll take Spore Shroom for 800. Okay, so let's look at our, our, our loadout for charms here. Uh, I only have room for one more, and... I mean, man, there's a couple really good... Oh, we do have Unbreakable Strength. Okay, so we can do that. If we get Void Heart, we're going to put Unbreakable Strength on here. So yeah, so, um, you know, we've got some other stream challenges to kind of work out, but... They're not big deals. So this is my least favorite series of checks in the game. Just so everybody knows. And it's all because of these jerks. With multiple nail upgrades, these guys are still taking three hits. Okay, so let's see if I can skip back up here. I can, awesome. Well, that saves me some trouble. Okay, so I'm, we're probably in really good shape now. Wow, he hit me. He invaded my safe space. See, look at that! These things are tanks.
All right, these guys won't bother me. I have hive blood on. Okay, so that stuff was all bust. Oh, I'm, well, it's, it stinks that you're sick. Are you sick with normal seasonal stuff, or do you have, you know, the pandemic? Okay, we're there. There's just, there's a thing up here, right? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Ha! Take that guy. Mark of Pride. Finally, my favorite. My favorite charm. Oh man, that sucks. Well, I hope it all works out for the best. Okay, here we are in Upper Edge. Aw. <laughs> trying to be all trying to be all clever and stuff. There's Shaman Stone, finally! Oh, man. Cyclone Slash. I don't think we actually have to open that up. I mean, once you get a bench, you can bench warp. It's... All right, let's see what's at Coliseums. Dash slash, so if I want oh, man, that stinks. And a wanderer's journal. So no Kalo too. Suppose I could go try to fight Pale Lurker. There's two checks there. So I'm sorry, everybody, because uh, Pale Lurker has glitched volume, so it, this is going to get really loud. So if you have a headset on, um, you know, I'm sorry. Volume warning incoming. Pale Lurker's a jerk. Uh, that actually didn't sound so bad. At least not to me. All right, another charm notch. Now we have 11. <laughs> it's a crazy amount. It's a ridiculous amount. Okay. I hate this fight, but... Huh. 
Ha, huh, missed. Missed again. Wrong way. Hitting with a dive is always a is always a, a a victory. There we go. <laughs> garbage. That's garbage. All right. Well, Pale Lurker's done. Wait a minute. So what's left in Edge then? Uh, Hornet 2. I'll be right back.
All right, I went to the bathroom. The dog went to the bathroom. We're in good shape. So, huh, I think it's about time to start uh, trying some boss fights. So, let's see me lab out some boss fights because I'm not very good at any of these. Um, all right, first one should be free. Let's go try Fluke Marm. Um, Fluke Marm and then Dung Defender. That sounds like a plan. Not a great start. Okay, with Shaman Stone and Abyss Shriek, this should be a free fight with nail upgrades. Shape of Un. Okay. Still have not found Isma's tier. Now he just warped back. <laughs> well, we can just go back to the bench then. Okay, so second phase.
Alright, nothing there. Also, I believe if we come back here, he'll pop up. And he's very gracious about his, his defeat, if I remember correctly. Well, whatever. So there's two Isthmus Tears checks. But we have to go down a little. Okay. Back the way we came. Because we should be able to get those checks now. I don't think that this is where I'm supposed to be, but we'll try it. No. Queen's Garden Stag. Good. So normally this is filled with acid if you haven't beaten Dung Defender and hit that switch. Nobody knew that. Alright, there's an arena here. I had no idea where I was falling. Fair enough, though. Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I was pretty into The Simpsons for like the first 13 seasons. Okay, so that is... is we should take care of this arena above King Station because it's an orphan check now and we hate those. Do I have a favorite character? Hmm. Huh. Well, I mean, like a favorite mainline character, I, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Um, my favorite odd one-off characters are Mr. Sparkle and the, um, the Dream Coyote. But th th that just speaks to what my favorite episodes are. That was nothing. I 
<laughs> Johnny Tight Lips. Johnny Tight Lips is nice. I like this. Just... <laughs> Where are you hit, Johnny Tight Lips? I ain't saying nothing. What do I tell the doctor? Tell him to suck a lemon. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, he's a great character. <laughs> All right, I guess let's go fight. Uh, let's go fight Broken Vessel and check base and Simple Claw. Because that's a thing we can do. Yeah, I just love that. Like, what do I tell the doctor? Tell him you can suck a lemon. Like, oh, it's so great. <laughs> Always get hit on that one. Every time. Never get hit on that one. Alright. Make our life a little easier. These guys are those guys are really fun to uh, kill with nail uh, nail zero. If you get down here, they take something like thirty six nail hits. You know, I've been actually it's weird because um, uh, I've been I've been watching uh, I've been watching a ton of Law and Order. <laughs> like that's what I have been doing. Uh, one of the television channels that I can DVR is running the entire run of the show. And it's so 20 seasons, so I'm through about three seasons. The problem is, is that I started DVRing it. Um, yeah, there's a, like there's a huge difference. But one of the things about like the the Simpsons um, Simpsons episodes is uh, oh, what I was gonna say is the the run that I started. Um, great way to start this fight. Um, but the run that I started started at season 13, so it's not like I, I have a lot of options. Um, it's kind of weird to start at season 13 and, like, work through 14 and 15. Like, I've already seen most of season 20. I'm just waiting for them to, you know, start their run over so I can start at episode 1. But yeah, the, the, so the Simpsons episodes, like, get really, they get really crazy and good when, like, Conan O'Brien joins as a writer, and then they... They stay good. Um, I mean, season 13 was one of the better seasons I'd ever seen, which is a really crazy thing to show to say about a show. Okay. So that does not... Uh, let's go back to the toll bench and check out what's at Fountain and what's at White Palace, and then we'll know if we need to do anything else down here. Because right now we have Crystal Peak cleared out, except for Crystal Guardian 2, which is a fight that I, I don't think I'm actually capable of. Oh, that was that was nasty. Fountain is a rancid egg, so we won't be paying 3000 for that. We've already cleared out Abyss. Ugh, I don't want to do White Palace, but I might just for the content if it's something worth getting. Oh, it's Dupe Crystal Heart. Well, we definitely don't need that. We already have Crystal Heart. Okay, so what do we have left? Like, we've taken out some bosses. We, we, haven't, we haven't messed with Umu. 
We haven't messed with Moloch or Grim, and uh, both are pretty, pretty easy. Let's go take on Moloch. Why can't I find Ancestral Mound in here? Because I, I never got it. I never got the bench in Ancestral Mound. That's so dumb. That was so stupid of me. I mean, Hot Springs it is then. I have some pretty... Uh, Trying to think which one which one is Bart the General. I own the first thirteen seasons on DVD. Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm really getting just smoked here. There. This is why I never do Moloch, is this little gauntlet here. Okay. Let's go kill the big bug. And they're all big bugs. Well, not all of them, but... Wow. Okay. <laughs> How about a seal? Alright, take care, uh, LZ. Appreciate you stopping by. Okay. Okay, let's see. What are we. Uh, glowing womb. Hasn't been checked. And we can easily do that. I suppose we could go into Queen's Garden. We could try Trader Lord if we wanted. And it's a simple key. Neat. So we have checked Pleasure House, right? We have. So that means that this simple key can be used for God Tuner. And that's kind of about it. 
All right, do we want to go check Hive? Um, no, I think we want to go check Grim and see if I can actually make the Grim fight work. It's gonna be interesting to take off King Soul. Mark of Pride, Unbreakable Strength, Shaman Stone. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty good loadout, I think. I've, I've only made this fight work once. I'm really bad at this fight. So this might take multiple multiple tries. That's the attack that always gets me. Darn it. Get. Oh. I will take the opportunity to heal, thank you very much. Got me. So much easier with Mark of Pride. Halfway done. Could have dove there. Like so. Darn it. Whoops. Getting sloppy here. But this is our last balloon phase, so. Yikes. Needed that. I mean, I think we've got this now. Mason Tuggle, thank you. I appreciate that you watch my videos. Time to bow to Grim. I am doing well. How are you doing? All right, so now we have a. Uh, now we're getting buffed up, Grim. Or Grim Child. Isma's tier finally. That took. That that's the craziest place for that to be. But that clears out all Dirtmouth checks. 
So we've got that. And now we can get rid of Grimchild. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it, it it's it's rough, right? Okay. I think we do this. And then I think we go after Watcher Knights now. All of my friends were at the job I lost, so... Muppets Party Cruise. Yeah, that's been a while. There we go. I knew we could hit it. Alright, that one won't open until we... Until we take care of this. Can't do that. Can't do that either. Am I gonna have to go kill this husk sentry? I mean, I guess I will. I'm gonna get bench right here. Uh, yeah, we're playing the. Uh, we're playing the rant. Well, they plant. They closed my plant, so it wasn't anything personal. Um. We're playing the randomizer, the easy logic randomizer of this game. We've been playing it for a while, so we've actually got we've got every movement item, every spell in its most upgraded form. There we go. So right now we're just looking for we can't uh, we can't true ending this this nightmare until we uh, until we find the la until we find void heart. So we're looking for a white fragment. Uh, I don't really have any social media. I tried to run a vertical sandwich page on YouTube or on Facebook for a while, and uh, it you know never took off. I'm not a I'm not a very popular YouTube figure, so. Okay, so now let's see if we can do this. This is a boss fight I almost never do. Alright, there's one. got this. I mean, this is free. <laughs> Stop out to the round.
There we go. Whew. Okay, so we've killed almost all bosses at this point. I mean, aside from, you know, the ones that are actual, you know, end-of-the-game kind of bosses. There's our last pale ore. Oh, man, we can get we can get nail four now. <laughs> and long nail! Awesome, we have all the nail extensions. I mean, I still need a white fragment. But, but this will make killing Umu fun. Because we still have to kill Umu. We still have to kill Nosk. We haven't done anything in Deep Nest. So, fun fact, if you didn't know this about this game, you can look through this telescope, see the City of Tears. I'll take a King's Idol. I don't... Well, I kind of need it, because I kind of need it to, uh... If I want to get that last nail upgrade. Which I do. Because the end of this game is going to be a nightmare for me. Yeah, you wouldn't know it. Um, You wouldn't know it ex unless you watch like the Hollow Knight randomizer tournaments. Because it's a goal on the bingo board. For playing Hollow Knight bingo. Is look through Lurian's telescope. Alright, we definitely have enough money. Yeah, I let's played this game and then I decided to start playing the randomizer and it got way better. <laughs> like, so, that's kind of funny. I've actually thought about let's playing it again for the YouTube channel, like, now that I know what I'm doing. The only difference is without the kind of the bench warp mod for this. Uh, it, the game is really confusing having to backtrack and things. I don't, I don't I don't I don't do I don't do co-op stuff on YouTube. I get a lot of offers. It's actually a rule in the uh, the info on the channel that I don't co-op. All right, where was I going? Umu or uh, Nosk? I suppose we go to lower tram. Go to deep nest. No, it's fine that you asked. There's definitely nothing wrong with asking. I might have said yes. No, at this point with the uh, with this point with trying to live stream and put up the videos and stuff, I don't have any time for anything else anyway. Um But I will say this, um, because uh, this is kind of the exciting news about kind of what's happened recently, is I had internet problems, and so I couldn't stream or uh, or really do much of anything um, for a while. And while I was doing that, I got the um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories 15 card drop mod working on this computer, and... Uh, a link to the past randomizer. So now we can play Zelda 1 randomizer, link to the past randomizer on this stream, Dragon Warrior, Final Fantasy randomizers, uh, Hollow Knight randomizer, which we're playing right now, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories 15 card uh, drop mod. We also can probably pretty easily pick up a Pokemon randomizer if we wanted to, although I'd never played Pokemon games, so that would be rough. 
Uh, and uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer would be very easy to integrate. Uh, my favorite game right now... Um, what's my favorite game right now? Oh, that's an interesting question. I mean, right now I'm having a lot of fun um, playing uh, old Nintendo RPG randomizers. So the Final Fantasy randomizer I'm having a ton of fun with. And the Dragon Warrior randomizer I'm having a ton of fun with. Alright. Time for the creepiest part in the game. Where we see this other us running around. And we can't catch it. So creepy! Look at him! He's us, and he's just standing there! Like, ugh! Freaked me out so bad when I first played this game. Because then, like, you come over here... Not over here. Wait, where's the breakable wall here? Ah, it gave us the slip. Okay, we come down here. Down here. Is it down here? It is. Oh, okay, yeah. There he is again! Just, 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 oh. Yeah, you seriously would just be like, no, I'm gone. Like, yeah. Although I have a funny horror movie uh, kind of moment story, right? And it's this. So, um, I live on, like, I live on, like, five acres of, like, a five-acre wooded lot in the middle of the country. There's nothing around. And one day I'm out, and it's night, and I'm walking. And, uh, I look, and it's got to be, like, one in the morning. And I, I look, and my garage door is open. Like, the actual, not the garage, not the slide-up door, but, like, the, the door door. And it's open, and I'm like, man, I don't remember leaving that open. And then while I looked at it, it just shut itself. Like, it just closed itself really slowly. And, like, and I looked at it and went, well, I have to check out why that happened. But then the next thought in my mind was, and if this is a horror movie, this is the point where I die. And I walked over and I checked it out. And I don't know, I don't know what closed the door. It must have just been, like, wind or something. But it was just super eerie. Alright, I hate Nosk. I'm really bad at this fight. We'll see how well we do. All these gates closing behind you, too. Ah! Can't believe that missed. Really? Again? Time to heal. Ooh. Man, Shade Soul is not working for me. Can you go up in the ceiling again? <sighs> Nask, come on, man. Ah, uh, I got to I got to I got to go into the safe spot. Just hide. It's very hard for Nas to hit you here. In case you didn't know. Ugh, one health. Yuck. Yuck. That doesn't mean it's impossible, by the way. Nosk can hit you in that spot. There we go. That is super creepy! <sighs> okay, well, Mas Nosk gave us a mask shard. Okay, so what else do we have to check? I mean, all of Deep Nest, again, and all of Queen Station. But, uh, let's continue with our, like, our little boss rush that's going on here. Because I'm rather enjoying it. 
So I suppose... I, I don't know if we have the elegant key. We could go beat up the elegant key guy. And then go take on whatever. I have the love key. I don't... I, I think it goes down below here. I don't think I have it. Well, we'll, we'll go get the shortcut anyway. Kill Soul Master. With this loadout, killing Soul Master should be easy. Yeah, that's terrifying. Like, that's a terrifying... Well, I mean, at least, uh, you know, haunted by a little girl is better than haunted by a psychotic murderer or something, but still. Ah, gotta, gotta love lever skips in this game. All right, that was actually pretty good. And then we can avoid all this garbage, which is also amazing. Are you kidding me? How could you do that? How? How is that a thing? I mean, you would, you would, you would think that most, like, if that's the, if that's the, the ghost deal, right? That it's like a little girl. That in, in general, little girls are not, you know, malevolent. Malevolent, malevolent. I think is the, the word I was looking for. Like, m more so, just lonely, probably. Okay. Time for a boss I'm actually fairly competent at. Ugh. Yeah. Easy peasy. Again, with this with this loadout, this is this is crazy. All right, a king's idol. I mean, it's that's okay. It's not great. It's again not what we're looking for. Right. I have to. This is where you get dive. So I have to use dive. There's our Void Heart. We can actually finish the game now. <laughs> this is also terrifying, by the way.
I mean, I don't need anything from here. So I don't know why I'm hanging around. But let's go kill Umu. Um. Yeah, it's like... It's nice talking to people who have been watching my stuff, like, live. It's just a, it's just such a better experience, really. Um, okay, let's go check Lake of Un. See how that's doing. We don't need these things anymore, but... Because, I mean, somebody leaves a comment on a YouTube video, and it's like, I can comment back, but... It's, it's just, in, in real time, you can actually have a conversation with somebody. And the YouTube comments notification system is, uh, spotty at best. So sometimes people will comment, and I'll never see it. So this, uh, this is all the checks in Green Path now. Oh, we haven't killed Traitor Lord either. We certainly could. Well, there's God Tuner. So, uh, now we can tune some gods. I guess. Alright. Um. Hot Springs Bench it is. I need to see where I am. I know that's a little ridiculous, but it just is what it is. Not a thing you'd ever see somebody good at this game do. <laughs> Markiplier! <laughs> I've actually watched some Markiplier because he's like... One of the few, uh, he's like one of the few Let's Players who's ever played Fatal Frame 2. Because, you know, he's a face cam reaction guy, right? And so, horror games are great for him. And he's genuinely funny. Like, he, he is. I can't, I can't say anything bad about... Like, there are some YouTubers I would never watch. Like, ever. Because I just don't get the humor. I don't get, like, the weird internet humor. Um, so, like, you know, so, so PewDiePie's out. And things like that. But, like, Markiplier, like I said, is genuinely funny. Oh, I didn't even see him up there. You missed. <laughs> nice. Fell for the oldest trick in the book. Hey, there's our other void heart. So so we got all of our That's interesting. Jack Septic Eye? What a crazy YouTube name. That's a great YouTube handle. Alright, so let's go get our bench for fighting the uh the giant jellyfish. Because this has turned into, like, a, a lab out bosses uh, playthrough at this point. Like, I don't have to fight these bosses at all. I can just go and kill. Nope, never heard of him. Okay, I don't need this anymore. What do I have? I have all this stuff, and then... Well, what else do I need? Oh, 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Well, I won't be able to forget the name, because it's crazy. It's a crazy name. Now, this is the most ridiculous aspect of this game, is that you ha you kill this boss for one check. Umu's just such a... It, it's just such a nuts thing that Umu exists. I mean, I know in the main game you, like, you have to. I mean, there's there's no optional kind of part about it. Right. I can't... I can't... I've got a... It's an avoidance fight. I forget this. Okay. All right, we're getting there. For for boss completion, we're uh we're pretty much golden. Only traitor lord is left. Uh yeah, I mean I'll take it. I did I did all that work. I okay, guess all the way here. So I guess let's go check. We can work back to the bench and then we go check overgrown mound from here. I think. I think that's a thing. Alright, Overgrown Mound is on the other side of Autopilot Shield Seal? Is that true? So, I mean, this is this is where Autopilot Seal is. Oh, it probably is, yeah. Hmm, shows what I know. That's right, we have to go up over here. And drop down into it. It is 6.24 a.m. here as well. We are in the same time zone. But I had uh, a bunch of dental work done and stuff, and so I was worn out yesterday and slept early, woke up early. Oh, one of them got me. Dupe Mantis Claw. You're not supposed to be able to do that, man. But Mason, it was nice talking to you. Okay, this is just the entrance area to Queen's Gardens. This is not where I wanted to go, I don't think. Right, right, right. Uh, 
Uh, if I'm if I'm on at 8:30, I'll be uh, playing something else, which isn't impossible. It's very possible that I would be playing something else. World Sense. Okay, so that was entrance egg, but I have the stag, so I need to go do that. I'll have to check out your stuff and see what you've done and and, and things like that. So I mean, I'll I'll, I'll write down your I, I keep I keep notes here, somewhere. To write down important things. Where's my clipboard? Not in the room with me, of course not. Um. All right, I'll 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 go write that down and uh, I'll be back. But you can go. I'll, uh, I can, I can see your stuff in chat. And then, uh, yeah, I'll check out your channel. You, uh, take care.
Okay, and I'm back. So we have Traitor Lord and Hive Knight to do, I guess. Make this note, Mason Tuggle. Okay. Uh, Hive Knight, lower tram. Okay, we gotta get rid of this. Probably that. And then we go with this. We shouldn't have any trouble. Oh, I need to actually move the tram though. Need to move the tram. Well, the internet's holding up well. We've been streaming for uh, almost two hours. And we haven't dropped a frame. I left my coffee in the other room. I also left the dog outside. She won't come in. It's too nice a day and the sun's up now. Nice. Think the bench is this way?
Alright, we gotta go find a big bee to make mad. in here. Easy peasy. Unbreakable heart. All right, so now. I think all we really have left is a uh, Hornet to Queen's Garden. Oh, instead of long nail, I want to do. I want to do this. We never checked flower quest. I don't think. Could bench warp it. It's completely cheating, but who cares? Love key is left. Oh, we haven't done collector. Collector would be a problem. I hate collector. Collector always kicks my butt. Well, I love key and trader lord. Let's go see if we can check out trader lord. Be the first time I use a dream gate, because I'll need it. It's such a long walk to trader lord. Hi, Mandrew. I'm good. How are you?
We are... We are capable of doing the true ending of this game right now, but uh, we're clearing out all the bosses for funsies. So right now I have Hornet 2, Traitor Lord, and uh, there's one more. Hornet 2, Traitor Lord, and uh, something else. Oh, we would have to do Crystal Guardian 2 as well, and I don't know that I can handle that. But right, I forgot about this guy. We have the we have the best nail in the game. We have unbreakable strength. Oh, I went the wrong way. Nice. Perfect. Wait a minute. I actually kind of want to do this. Because this gives us the shortcut into massive moss chargers area. Here we go. That's right. If you're going to Trader Lord, you don't have to do any of that stuff that I just did. <clears throat> okay, we want our Dream Gate here. Otherwise, we'll spawn right on top of our shade if we die. And we don't want that. Yikes. Favorite LP I've done? Um, ugh, uh, that's a hard question. Uh, I really like the Dragon Quest Eight LP I did. I really like the Hotel Mario LP I did. Um, uh, I liked Crash Bandicoot to Insanity quite a bit. Okay, let's try to not take a bunch of damage from uh, these guys. He said right before taking damage from those guys. Seriously. Trying to dive. That was foolish, but whatever. It's gonna be a little more patient. I got through Grim, I can get through Trader Lord.
Man, those guys are annoying. There we go. With Nail 4, it should be super easy. That should be a really basic fight. Yeah, I mean, it really, uh... The Dragon Quest 8 LP was, um, I mean, was a labor of love, because I really love that game. I think it's just brilliant. Uh, the Hotel Mario LP, because it was so hard, like, there was just nothing out there. So it was a lot of just learning new things, um, and I really like that. So we're there. I think we want to go to Queen Station now, and then go down and pick up... Oh, I can't do that. I have to go from the Garden Stag. Yeah, and the, the there's the Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity LP was, uh, was just loony. It was just, it's such a fun game, and it was so early. this guy. We'll heal a little bit. Oh, right. That's why they're called fool catchers. Yikes. There we go. That was all we needed. Oh, Assassin's Creed 2, yeah, like, I, I, I have the other games in kind of the Enzio trilogy, and I haven't really bothered yet, but there's, I mean, when it really comes down to it, there's just so many games. Like, there's just a ridiculous amount, I mean, if you want to play every game that's kind of good and then also mix in some real garbage, there's so much to do. Okay, that's every simple key now. 
and every check in Queen's Gardens. So, it looks like what we have left on the map, Queen's Gardens cleared out, Green Path is cleared out. We go to Queen Station, we can clear out some of this Manta stuff and maybe get down to Deep Nest. And then after Deep Nest, there's nothing left to do but finish the game. Oh no, we still have Hornet 2 to do. Yeah, and the issue is, is like, right now I'm playing, like, Final Fantasy X2, right? And it's, like, a notoriously bad installment in the series. But, like, it's kind of so cringy and wonderful that it's kind of hard to not play it. But, like, obviously that's time away from a game that's decent. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, I, I like how cringy and weird Final Fantasy X2 is. I genuinely do. But, you know, we could be playing Catherine Full Body instead, which is probably great. I mean, I love Catherine, and the Full Body adds a character and a bunch of other stuff, so, like... And I own it. I, I actually bought it. I pre-ordered it. It was the first game I ever pre-ordered. Alright, so there is a shortcut into Deep Nest from here, but you can't hit it going the way I was going. So now when we go back, it will fall apart. There it is. I actually didn't mean to fall down there, but that's okay. Ah, I hate these guys. Infinitely spawning monsters. Alright, we don't need to do anything in here. We can go over here and get the, the Mimic Grub. I suppose we could rescue... Oh, man. Okay, so it's... It's the third one. It's that guy. We will let this one go, though. So we can bother his friends and make fun of them. Because they're still stuck in containers. Ooh. Didn't see that coming. Where did I just stick myself? This is ridiculous. Ugh, Deep Nest, my least favorite part of this game. Some people really love it. I'm not I'm not any of those people. I don't know where all the checks are and I mean, there's nothing else up here, so we can just go down. Alright. I'm one of those guys. Of course! Alright, this drops us below where we want to go. We want to go to the right. And then I think s this is... Yeah, we're going backwards into Super Secret Seal. Got it.
Oh, we can't go backwards into Super Secret Seal. We've got to come through Fungal Wastes for this. Alright, fine. Game. Can't go backwards into here either. Which means I have to go back down to... Well, let's go to Fungal Waste then. Why not? I think we have the Mantis Lord's Bench. Ah, pain in the butt. So says Vertical Sandwich. I like how we never opened the shortcut out of here. Because bench warp. Okay, did I ever check the seal above Mantis Village? I did. Okay. Just this fungal core egg. <laughs> yeah. What's well, a mask shard? We could use more mask shards. We're bad at the game. All that work for a vessel fragment. All right, now we can go up to super secret seal. Oh, come on. I want to do a cool spike pogo to show how cool I am. <laughs> it's not working out very well. <laughs> Whatever. I, everybody knows how cool I am already. There we go. <laughs> it's yeah, completely unnecessary, by the way. There was no good reason to do that. I think uh, in internet uh, lingo, I think they call that swag. Yikes. So basically at this point we're just playing for the sake of playing and to get better at things that we don't like doing. So here's Super Secret Seal. This is how you get into it. And it's duped Monarch Wings. Man, Monarch Wings were such a pain in the butt this seed. Okay, so we still probably can't get through, like, yeah, I have to come down to that other check. We've failed tramway. Let's go to lower tram and get those checks. See how I do with that horrible pogoing one that I hate so much. My least favorite check in the game, easily. Well, I mean, it's the check I have the most trouble with. We have a lot of stuff going for us, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my loadout so that I have uh, Grub Song Hive Knight, because that's essentially infinite health. Because I don't need either of those. Grub Song Hive Blood. I'll keep the long nail, though, since I can. Perfect. Because Grub Song gives you uh, Grub Song gives you health every time you, or gives you soul every time you take damage, and Hive Knight uh, will replenish one mask if you just wait. 
So the way that that ends up working for what we're doing here is, I mean, I'll, I'll show it off. So the way you can regenerate in a situation like this, the way you can regenerate infinite uh, health is like we take when we take damage on the spikes, we get a little salt, and then we can just wait for the hive mask shard to regenerate itself, and we haven't lost any life. And then we can just you know take damage again, probably not double damage. That doesn't help us. So there, so now we have enough soul to regenerate a mask. And we've we've taken like four damage, but we've only lost one ma we've only lost one mask. So we do that. And you can keep doing this. Well, we made it past the hard part. I actually made that look way easier than it usually is for me. And we got Shade Cloak as a result. Shade Cloak is useless to us. I mean, it's not like anything is really useful to us. We have everything we could possibly want except Vessel Fragments and Mask Shards. Those are the only things that still have the potential to be useful. So now we've got to go all the way down to the bottom of this and go check... Uh, uh, Sharp Shadow is what this check normally is. Whoa! That was crazy. That was the hard one. Really? I had no idea a guy could spawn there. That's crazy. Oh, that's our elegant key. Awesome. Let's go take care of that then. Because this is the only... Oh, we still have to do Collector. Garbage. I hate Collector. <laughs> I was just trying to use a spell I don't have. Ugh, that was messy. That was really ugly. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of hit points, so I was able to tank him, but that was horrible strategy. I think that's our last stag. So, what do we got left? We still got some deep nest checks, we still got Collector, and Hornet too. Let's go finish the rest of... Okay, well, let's... First off, let's do this. Do we have... Do we have do we have to have distant village stag? Like that has to be a thing that we have at this point. We're so far into the game. So we could go take care of uh whatever it's, you know, the thing, the deal. And we could try to get in the alternate way because we have all the movement and I'm not very familiar with that. So we can lab it out, see how it works.
There's like a developer intended way to get in here. Yeah, I can see it up there. There it is. So then, it, you, we don't have to sit on the bench then. And I believe that this actually takes us to the real bench in this level. So there we go. Long cutscene avoided. But now I don't know where I am. Like, I literally have no idea where I am. I have to find the place where you normally end up in here. Whoa! <laughs> Hello. Man, we come up we come up way into here. This is like the end. Yeah, the the beast is right here. I mean, I guess it's it's Hera, but Yeah, so now I got to go through here backwards. Doesn't sound fun. I mean, whatever, I can do it. I mean, there's only one more check in here. Okay, well, that was a pain. Let's just shade soul him. There we go. Okay, so there should be a stalking devout down here. Yeah, there it is. Right, so this is where we would spawn in. And that's the last check down there. Alright, it's lifeblood core. So what's that mean for... I mean, what are, what are we missing? Grubberfly's elegy. I don't remember what that is. And whatever this is. Quick slash. <clears throat> So we're missing Quick Slash, Grubber Flies Elegy, and some mystery charm. And then we could buy Salubro's Blessing, which doesn't matter at all, but... What's down here? Oh yeah, it's just a trap. Alright, so let's see what we've got. I'm going to have to go check and see if the dog wants to come in.
Alright, I don't know whether or not the dog managed to kill that mouse or found a dead mouse, but uh, she brought it up to the porch, so hooray. Alright, Hot Springs Bench it is. Oh, I didn't warp. Whoops. Okay, so failed tramway, we can do. And, uh, yeah. Oh, man, we have so much to do here. I hate Deep Nest. <laughs> really do. It's so, like, it's just such a... It's just such a gross series of things. That's where we want to go. That puts us there. Right. I remember this area. Okay. So now we just have to climb. All right, that seemed pretty easy. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Failed tramway. Okay, now from here we should be able to go down, right? Get that one we're missing and warp back up. This just takes forever. That's fine. They'll find their way to me eventually. Such a creepy arena. Is that it? Well, we can rescue Zoat. And that's the check we were looking for. It's Quick Slash. Nice. Okay, so failed tramway, uh, Weaver's Den. One of the things I have to check is resting grounds. To see what that looks like. So we haven't checked the Grey Mourner yet, and we should. So I guess we go back to Hot Springs Bench.
I mean, it sounds good to me. So let's see where what we have left as possibilities. So it looks like there's two more mask shards in the game, um, at least, and uh, three more vessel fragments. And we have enough checks to justify that stuff. I almost didn't kill him. I mean, I almost didn't lose him. All right. Straight across. First start of the right and not until morning or whatever. Right, we can just do this. Ugh, but you gotta stop holding sideways. We'll have to be very mindful of our health. Because it's... It's deep dust. And things like the floor will fall from underneath you. Okay, where's that put us? gonna say we should start getting randomly occurring spider guys Right, there's like a slight jump here. Fury of the Fallen, there's only one charm left in the game. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Okay. Darn it. Darn it. I don't care about taking the damage. This is a hard check. So we've almost got Weaver's Den cleared out. We're going to need this to get past this talking devout. Okay, so that's all of that's all of uh, of deep nest. So that leaves us with Tower of Love, Cast Off Shell, Gray Mourner, Crystal Guardian Two. Let's look at. I never checked. I, I could be orphaning some things because of essence. And I should check that because it doesn't make any sense to collect things like mask shards if you can never get them. Like there's a mask shard so we can never get all of them.
There's a vessel fragment. We can't get all those. So I think we're pretty much done. And there's Grubberfly's Elegy. So that's the last charm. So there really is nothing left at any of these bosses that we could hope to achieve. I mean, aside from, you know, completion of bosses and stuff. So we can never get, like, Salubra's Blessing. So I suppose we've got to go lab out a Hollow Knight fight. And then try to take on, you know, um... What am I doing? Not that I wouldn't love to grind to 890 essence, but I wouldn't love to grind to 890 essence. So it's a mask shard. And actually, if you want to do this, like, in the randomizer... So we'll show this off. If you want to do this in the randomizer, um, the actual... Uh, the bench warp just allows you to just kill it. So you can just bench warp to Queen's Garden. And then you don't actually have to really do anything. You just have to get through the spike, the, uh, the spike labyrinth. And there we go. But, uh, so yeah, so that's Flower Quest done. But, I mean, it's cheating. It's definitely cheating. Oh, I don't have to do this. Because I have the Black Egg Temple thing here. So what do we want for, uh, our... We have Unbreakable Strength, Shaman Stone, that. We don't need that. But, uh, okay. So let's give this a shot. I'm really bad at this fight. I've only beaten it once. I mean, not the, not the Hollow Knight. I think the Hollow Knight's pretty easy. But, uh, abs, er, uh, Radiance. Really thought he was going to start stabbing himself. Okay. See, there was the stab we wanted. Maybe actually, you know, try. Man, my timing is so bad for this.
I think that did it. It did. Okay. So now we're in the Hollow Knight's brain, which of course is the thing. All right. So let's let's see how let's see how Radiance does. Ugh, I hate Radiance so much. Let's take garbage balls. Ugh, you can't take every hit that's... Ooh! Yikes! So bad! Garbagey. Just super garbagey. Just tank the Hollow Knight, nothing else works. Like... Ugh. But whatever, this is how we have to learn. Stabbing yourself, man. Yikes. Man, you just went off the rails there. That's such a hard attack to avoid. Hmm. I mean, it's probably not that hard of an attack to avoid, but it's a hard attack to avoid for me. And, there's not a lot I can do, really. It's, uh... I'm not trying to take damage from every attack. Really not. It's just the thing about it is the Hollow Knight is a jerk. Can't believe I missed with that. I think that did it. Get, the Get good. That's what she's yelling. It's not, but okay. Really? Huh, I don't usually die to the vertical spikes. They're usually my favorite phase of the boss. Because they're inherently doable.
Gotta remember to do two. I don't think you can actually hit him like that during that phase. I think it's... We've done some pretty severe damage at this point. Yeah. Get good! Get good. I'm telling ya. took the damage there on purpose. I mean, not on... I mean, I would have rather not, but... Crap. Okay. Come down here, maybe. <laughs> I'll take that. No. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't think it was a three cycle thing. Oh man, we could have done that. That could have worked. We're getting better. Oh, right. I can't do that. Come on, Hornick. Get in here and help me out. Good. We'll have full soul to uh, really beat up Radiance in the first phase, which would be good. Blime Andrew, thank you that you're still watching. I had no idea, because I can't see those that kind of information. From no! Without the theatrics of like it acting like every hit is death. <laughs> like every hit just turning the screen black and making a huge booming noise. I get that they do two damage. I get it. Okay, we should be able to tank this.
Well, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody does. <laughs> it was very hard for me to phrase that without making it sound like nobody cares about what I do. Which isn't an accurate assessment. Yeah, once you get good at this fight, you can just, like I said, you can just use him as basically a soul fill-up for Radiance. Especially, again, with this loadout, with, like, the un unbreakable strength and all the other stuff. So now let's just... Okay. Ooh. Ah, I did hit. Yikes. Ugh. Okay, but I have no way to refill my soul now. Ugh. I have to deal with this. Nice. Yeah, I was really, I was really trying to, uh, whatever, I don't know what I was trying to do. But those balls are a problem anyway, but I can't, I mean, ugh. I gotta take less damage in the first phase, which I mean is kind of a duh duh kind of statement, but. Where's the stagger? Ugh. That is so hard to avoid. Are you dying yet? I really need you to die. Thank you. Alright. Minute Radiance appears. You hit him with as much stuff as you can. Stupid moth. Yikes. I saw that one a little too late. Eee. Oh. That was... That was embarrassing. I mean, not really, but whatever. <laughs> it was standard. But that's why we're doing this, is to try to get better, so... Really got to figure out the timing of that attack. Because, I, I mean, it's he hits me with it every time he does it. Yeah, I'm not good. I've only beat Radiance once in my life. But I've got to... 
I mean, the Hollow Knight is... Okay, that was what I need to do with that. Ugh, those spikes made that really hard. I thought I was close. I can't dream nail the radiance, because you're already in a dream, I guess. I don't know. Darn it. Okay. Whoa, I did not know that those disappeared. See, that was not bad. And, like, it, it's all about Radiance patterns for me because I'm really not very practiced. This is only the second time I've ever beaten Radiance. Um, and, oh, I've got to... I actually have to push buttons. Forgot. Game's not over until I do this. So, um, yeah. So, like, I've never, uh... Like, it's all about Radiance patterns because I, I don't have a great strategy for avoiding the the balls that like the orbs that the homing orbs those are really hard um i have to get kind of lucky with spawns and stuff and this is the first time i've true ending a randomizer so it'll be nice to get a little more practiced at these fights and kind of become a little better at you know the hollow knight and things like that so i don't have to yeah tank damage and And then just hope for, you know, a, a pattern that helps me out. But we did finish the seed, which is what I was really shooting for today. Was, I mean, the seed probably took us, oh, I don't know, we'll know, we'll know when we get to the menu screen. So I guess that the true ending is technically a happier ending because you don't... Um, yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're the worst part. And, like, there are some other things, too. Like, uh, if you get a... Oh, I got a, I got an achievement for that. If you get the, um, the, horizontal, the horizontal spikes and the bottom three spaces are taken up, that's really rough, too. The timing on shade skipping through the spikes is something I haven't gotten good at. So, uh, achievement unlocked, speed run two, four hours and 28 minutes is what that took. That's actually not uh, atrocious. I mean, that that actually, okay, if, if this were an actual true ending speed run, uh, I would have a it, this would be a good speedrun for somebody who was starting to learn the category but was an experienced speedrunner. I think Mathulu just started running this and uh, his PB is like 424. Because, um, oh no, that's for 112%. Never mind. So, like, this is actually really bad. Uh, yeah, that's right. 112%, which is the Pantheon one, and that's. Oh, oh.
All right. So if we look here, there we go, 83%. And the reason it's 83% is because it counts dream bosses or dream warriors, dream bosses. And uh, I think um, the whispering roots. And we obviously didn't do any of those. Very few of them. Look at this, this is the one where I was practicing white palace. <laughs> like, hilarious. And uh, these were just things I was doing because I was bored. You can tell, I usually get about an hour and a half in and then I, I, I kind of I kind of fade out. Um, all right, so let's see if we can actually, like this might be fun. Let's see if we can actually uh, start something, like play around with something else. No, you know what I need to do? I need to go and I need to put in the information for the YouTube videos that are actually going to be released today. So I think what we'll do is uh, I'm going to have to shut down the stream so I can put in new data and stuff. And then uh, I'm going to come back, but it's going to be uh, probably a little after 8 o'clock. So like 8 a.m. I think I'll come back and uh, maybe we'll try, maybe we'll play around with Forbidden Memories a little bit and uh, see how that thing works out. Um, so uh, if you've been here, Blind Man Drew, thank you for stopping by. And uh, if you want to come back in 10 minutes, I should be back here in 10 minutes or so with a uh, new stream with new information and uh, maybe we'll play around with that so uh, I'll see if you come back if you don't well you know I'll be back um, take care everybody